Something from the solo album? Yeah, you know, like Love and Chains or I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Love and Chains, but maybe, maybe Goodbye. I like it. You know, um, I also love, I still love you. I still love you. <laughs> What's yours? Um, I don't know. It's weird. I don't, I don't even know if I like Kiss anymore. <laughs> what do you mean you don't like Kiss? I mean, I'm not going to go, him. Hey, what Kiss song should I listen to today? Oh, let's listen to Love Gun. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to listen to Love Gun. Why not? You pull the trigger of my... <laughs> yeah. You know, I <laughs> Love Gun. listen to that kind of music anymore. Anyway, so, Migazine. It's a bald eagle, sweetie. <laughs> okay, we're going to shift gears. Shifting gears. Uh, when Eric Carr joined Kiss in 1980. 82, whatever. They almost had him become a bird. He was going to be the falcon or something. They had come up with a bird. And I th- what they should have had him be is a bald eagle. They should have had him shave his head, paint <laughs> white makeup all over his head, mm-hmm. and then just paint a yellow nose. You know, he can put some eyeliner on or something, but all white head. He could have been the bald eagle, the migazy. But instead, he became the fox. And then he died. The Bald Eagle, Migazi, and the Ojibwe culture. And the Ojibwe Bamadizi win. The life way, the path. And our seven Anishinaabe values. The grandfather teachings. <laughs> Just get to it. Oh, right. <laughs> the, eagle, the Bald Eagle represents love itself. Zaga, Edi win. If you're new to this show, you might not know. Maybe you already know. The seven grandfather teachings are seven values that we have. Values like respect and courage and humility. And each of the uh, values, there's an animal that represents that value. And our value of love, zaga, iriwin, i. There's a glottal stop there, so it's kind of like o-o, like the dash and o-o. Zaga, iriwin, love. Um, and some people say, I was told once that, you know, the eagle, sometimes people will will put out tobacco and they'll pray and they'll say, miigwech gichi manadu, when they see an eagle. Because back in the days of the grandfathers, before the grandfathers, when gichi manadu was making all the animals, he'd give them a job. And he made the bald eagle, and he said, "Listen here, Migazi, I want you to you to be the carrier of the people's prayers." Oh, what? Uh. They, you know, there's a many there are many ways that they send their prayers to me. Sometimes they, in smoke, sometimes they, you know, pray, and I hear their prayers. But you know, once in a while, people will will pray when they see you. They'll they'll be reminded of me. And of my great love for my children. <laughs> so, when uh, somebody prays to you, if they put out tobacco, you can grab some tobacco and bring it up to me. But more than that, bring up their prayers to me. I, I want to hear their prayers. I will answer their prayers. This will be your job. It's a very important job. And Megazi said, yes. Gichimanadu. Yes, great spirit. I will do as you say. But, what if uh, people want to start thinking of me as, uh, you know, representing something else like money or representing <laughs> America no. or representing, you know, a football team? What if they try to sim- make me a symbol of a football team, Great Spirit? <laughs> Should I be offended? We're not mascots, you know. And he goes, take it easy. You're, you're starting to sound like a Native American. I gave you a job. <laughs> no. Don't worry about being a mascot, all right? <laughs> we'll make them change a fighting Sioux if you're so, so sensitive. <laughs> but, and so the bald eagle became the uh, animal that represents love. Now, some people, they hear this word, gnu. Gnu is also an eagle, but it's a golden eagle. It's the eagle who still has his hair. <laughs> the eagles don't have hair. All right, it's an eagle that's all gold. Sometimes it can be kind of a. Are golden eagles um, a different 
type of eagle? Or are they just a, a non-mature migazy? You know, I'm not sure, actually. Are they just girl eagles? Girl migazies? You, you think uh, Gnu is just a, a girl migazy? Yeah. Are there girl bald eagles? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I don't even know. Yeah, I think there's girl bald eagles. I, you know, They're not really bald. They're just colored white. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Gnu, I think, is like their cousin. Yeah, it's probably their cousin. Gnu is a golden eagle. And today, the really important thing to learn is how to say, I love you. Gazag, uh, gazag, I can't even say it. Gizagain, sweetie. Gizagain, weenie mushain. <laughs> I love you. Gizagain. What if you want to say I love you too? You say, Giza ke'in, gaye, gaye. All right, here's another um, pronunciation just to remind you. Eyes are, uh, you know, I, like sit. Two A's are ah, like in father. Za, g. Then there's that glottal stop again, like oh-oh. Giza ge. And then two eyes sounds like e, in. Giza ge'in. Giza ge'in. And then you say, gaye. Or then, uh, so G's are G. A's are uh sound. Two A's to say ah, uh. And then E's sound like A, as in Ojibwe. Gaye. Giza ga'in gaye. I love you too. I love you also. You could also say minawa, I guess, but I love you again. Giza <laughs> ga'in. And so today I would like to talk about what is love? What's love got to do with it, sweetie? What's love got to do, got to do with it? What's love but a second emotion? Love, we never did do our show on uh, Tina Turner. <laughs> Didn't we? Yeah, no. I'm pretty convinced that Tina Turner is not... I think Tina Turner has some secrets, but it's not at my place to out secret trainees. <laughs> but Tina Turner in the 1980s came out long before everybody became so accepting of transgendered people. And she sang a song called What's Love Got to Do With It? And it was about, or no, there was also um Private Dancer. <laughs> yeah, I'm your private dancer, a dancer for money, a dancer for money, a private, <laughs> that's just code word for, uh, I didn't want to say it, you know what I'm talking about, a lady of the night, a lady of the night, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is it, like the old west, um, a uh, resident of a brothel, no, um, so Tina Turner said love had nothing to do with it and, um, that she was your private dancer, a dancer for money. Any old song will do. And the more you listen to Tina Turner, sweetie. Yeah. The more you sympathize with Ike Turner. <laughs> what do you mean? Like you kind of want to smack her around. I'm sorry. I know that's not... Politically correct. I'm I'm not saying it's okay to smack around women. That's abhorrent. I you know, the death penalty for it, you know, frankly. But if you were married to a Tina Turner, wouldn't you want to smack her face once in a while? Just when she opened her mouth. Left a good job in the city. Yeah, left a good job in this. Would you put on some pants, Tina? Ugh. You're built like Michelle Obama. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> hey, everybody. If you'd like to support the show, check out the links in the description box. You can support us on Patreon, PayPal, or GoFundMe. And Michael Lyons, the rock star cartoonist, has books for sale at Amazon.com. Miigwech.